How does the sending spell work if you are deceived in being familiar? Heavily related to this question. But I don't think it's a duplicate. The sending spell states, you send a short message of 25 words or less to a creature with which you are familiar. And there is great debate about what constitutes familiar. But what if you're familiar with someone deceiving you? You're very well acquainted with the mysterious shopkeeper, or so you think. It's really three kobolds in a cloak. You've had drinks numerous times with the salty dwarf named Barney Rubble. However there is no Barney Rubble. It's just a disfigured tabaxi warlock named Jem in rolling waters that only goes out using mask of many faces. You pass by the same gentleman sitting in his rocking chair every day. But it's actually a doppelganger in one of their many shapes while the homeowner is away. You're always doing odd jobs for the town constable, so you see him a few times a month to collect a reward. But little does anyone know, that he was assassinated last week. Instead, it's a minion, whom you've only met in passing once, posing as the constable as part of a larger plot. In all these cases, the caster is familiar with someone, but who the caster knows and the reality of that someone they think they know are very different. So would the sending spell be directed to who you think you know, to the person beneath the disguise, or just fizzle out? You choose the creature, regardless of its name or true identity. My interpretation is that you, the caster, envision who you're sending the message to. The spell does not say that you need to know the name of the creature, or their true form if they are disguised or shapeshifting. Therefore, I believe that even if you do not know the name of the creature, or only know a nickname or false name, as long as you can envision the creature itself as an entity, it will reach them. To preface, this is of course speculation. As you already mentioned there's great debate over what constitutes a familiar creature. In the case of the three kobolds in a cloak, I believe the message would reach the top kobold, the one you've been speaking with. In the case of the warlock using a mask of many faces, you are imagining the creature, which is in fact still gem in rolling waters despite the fact that you don't know his true name or form. Therefore the message should reach him. In the case of the doppelganger, you are thinking of him, the doppelganger, and the message would go to the doppelganger. This is, unless you knew the old man prior. That, in my opinion, would cause the message to go to the man, since the one you're familiar with is the true man. That being said, if you have known someone for a while, and someone were to attempt to take their place, as with your constable example, I believe the message would not arrive to the minion, since you envisioned the creature that the message is being sent to, the true constable. Since that creature is no longer living, you won't know if the message is received or not, except by the fact that you won't get a response.